Nearly 200 steel workers in Michigan will soon be out of a job. Why? The company is blaming softening demand. This comes after President Trump claimed as recently as last week that his steel tariffs were actually saving the industry. And by the way, steel, steel was dead. Your business was dead, okay? I don't want to be overly crude. Your business was dead. And I put a little thing called a 25% tariff on all of the dump steel all over the country. And now your business is thriving. Steel prices have fallen dramatically since March 2018 when Trump first announced the tariff on steel imports. So what now? CNN's Vanessa Yurkevich is in Michigan seeing the real impact in real time with the folks who've been directly impacted. Hi, Kate. People we've spoken to here in the community are concerned and shocked by this news. They thought that these steel tariffs were going to bring back production and bring back jobs. But instead, U.S. Steel announcing that they are going to temporarily be laying off about 200 workers here at this factory behind me, citing ongoing market challenges. And this is very different to what we've heard the president say just in the last week. He credited himself for bringing back the steel industry. But we spoke to one city official who says he sees no evidence of that here, and he and another community leader are concerned that these temporary layoffs will become permanent. We assumed that we'd have uh, more production, uh, and in fact, we thought it'd have a reverse effect. There'd be more hiring taking place, you know, here locally. It was a shock, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that things reverse quickly. It's a recession when your neighbor's laid off. It's a depression when you get laid off. And uh, it hasn't changed in the past 38 or 39 years. You know, you get concerned when you hear 200 people are laid off, so it is a concern. 200 layoffs may not sound like a lot when you're comparing it to the couple thousand of employees who work here, but the concern is that these temporary layoffs are a signal of a downturn in the industry rather than an industry coming back. And if you look at U.S. steel prices this time last year, that stock was trading at about $30 a share. Today, it's trading at about $12. That's a 60 percent drop. And as for when these temporary layoffs will come back online, U.S. Steel says they don't have a timeline for that, adding another level of uncertainty. Kate? That's for sure. Vanessa, thank you very much for that. Joining me right now is the former Republican governor of Ohio, now CNN senior political commentator John Kasich. Governor, thank you for being here. I want to get your take on what Vanessa was talking to us about right there. I mean, is... If this is a driving headline, if this is what's happening in Michigan, they're seeing layoffs, they're seeing softening demand in the steel industry, there are you know, problems in other sectors as well. What can the president say the next time that he heads to the battleground state? Who is he to blame? Well, look, I, I mean, there is no question that the manufacturing sector is experiencing a slowdown, Kate, and it happens for a variety of reasons. In terms of steel, you know, st steel prices, uh, uh, the health of steel companies tend to gyrate. They're, there's a big beta. In other words, it's up, it's down, and there's a lot of factors that go into that. But when you don't have the demand, which is, appears we are seeing less demand for a whole lot of manufactured items, or when you add in the, the inputs that people have to have to make a product, including things that get imported, which mm -hmm. now costs more, all this contributes to, uh, to a slowdown. And so what people are hoping is that the consumer uh, demands are going to push the economy along and outweigh the, the decline in manufacturing. But look, we've had a long, long recovery, the, one of the longest in history, if not the, the longest recovery in history, and these don't go on forever. And so, uh, you know, I mean, we, we're going through a cycle and obviously the tariffs have not helped us. Uh, they are contributing to this. And uh, a slowing economy is never good news for an incumbent president, an incumbent governor. It doesn't matter what it is. People yeah. want to see uh, their lives getting better. 